able to open it up and then you know do some very very precise cuts to be able to open with just hands and it was able to do many of these tasks and some of them like this one with the chairs and you can see exactly how accurate this robot is at doing certain things i mean this scale in terms of the cheapness where you can and one in front for seeing and it can feel and record its movements it's able to put a ram stick in a robot then it's able to get this box cutter knife unveiling mobile aloha robotic technology has advanced and mobile aloha is proof of that this robot which is able to execute complex tasks with human-like dexterity has gained notoriety for its capacity to prepare a three-course meal on its own the videos, which have been published across a number of sites, highlight the robot's remarkable range of motion and accuracy. The result of a joint project between Google DeepMind and Stanford University, Mobile Aloha represents a major advancement in robotics. The culinary expertise of Mobile Aloha is one of its most notable attributes. The robot showed off its remarkable precision in preparing a three-course meal in a captivating performance. This goes beyond conventional robots, which frequently find it difficult to do jobs requiring dexterity comparable to that of a human. Oh, able to open it up and then, you know, do some very, very precise cuts to be able to open with just hands and it was able to do many of these tasks and some of them like this one with the chairs and you can see exactly how accurate this robot is at doing certain things i mean the ability of mobile aloha to perform delicate tasks such as frying prawns and using kitchen tools demonstrates a level of sophistication that makes it stand out the displays show dexterity that defies expectations of what robots are capable of the movements of mobile aloha are human-like pushing the boundaries of robots. Mobile Aloha is incredibly skilled at performing intricate kitchen duties, including cracking eggs with one hand while stirring a bowl with the other. The first demo became viral after being shared on Twitter. The video's groundbreaking material soon attracted attention. The robot started a discussion about the possibilities of robotics in daily life since it could complete activities at a scale and complexity that were previously only possible for human operators. The introduction of Mobile Aloha was a fascinating preview of what's to come in terms of autonomous robots that fit in with all aspects of our lives. Beyond the entertaining spectacle of a robot cooking, Mobile Aloha has applications across other industries. Its precise movement and handling of things opens up new possibilities in logistics, medical applications, and other fields. The introduction of Mobile Aloha makes us imagine a time in the future when robots play a significant role in our daily lives, helping to do jobs that were previously thought to be the domain of humans. Transportable Aloha's design departs from conventional humanoid robots in that it has a distinct crab-like two-claw structure. This non-traditional design demonstrates that human anatomy need not be mimicked for efficient interaction with the environment. The idea that humanoid robots must accurately mimic the human form is called into question by the robot's adaptability in performing a variety of activities. An overview of the future. Essentially, Mobile Aloha's launch provides more than just a showcase for technological prowess. It offers a peak of a day where robots coexist peacefully with humans, improving productivity and performing jobs that were previously thought to be too complicated for automation. As a representation of what can be accomplished when academia and industry work together, Mobile Aloha pushes the limits of robotics and challenges our ideas of what is feasible. The brains of Mobile Aloha are Ziang Fu, a PhD student at Google DeepMind studying robotics at Stanford, Tony Z, another PhD student at Google DeepMind, and Chelsea Finn, a research scientist at Google DeepMind and CS faculty member at Stanford. By pushing the limits of what robots can accomplish, this innovative team has brought Mobile Aloha to life. Imitation learning, in which the robot watches and imitates human behavior, is the central idea of Mobile Aloha. Mobile Aloha is made to move, giving it greater adaptability than standard robots that are limited to stationary jobs. To increase the robot's versatility, the scientists use a complex co-training approach 
that combined learning from mobile actions and fixed jobs. The Story Underpinning Mobile Aloha By combining co-training and imitation learning, Mobile Aloha's development is supported by an advanced research technique that pushes the limits of robot capabilities. In-depth discussion of the theories and techniques that underpin Mobile Aloha's extraordinary powers is provided in this section. The core of Mobile Aloha's learning approach is imitation learning, a method in which the robot watches and imitates human behavior. In contrast to conventional robots that are limited to stationary activities, Mobile Aloha is made to move, providing a wider range of functionalities. Ziang Fu, Tony Z, and Chelsea Finn, as well as the rest of the study team, used imitation learning to teach the robot how to accomplish difficult hand coordination and mobility tasks. The current Aloha system has evolved into Mobile Aloha, which increases its versatility and mobility. Aloha was good at things that could be done on a table, but Mobile Aloha was much better because it can control its whole body, which makes it easier to do things that need movement and interacting with the surroundings. This update represents a revolution in robotics capabilities. Co-training is shown to be essential to Mobile Aloha's success. Co-training can be best described as using two distinct cookbooks to teach someone how to cook. The first set of examples focuses on activities like cracking eggs while stirring that call on hand-eye coordination. These jobs are completed at a set place. In the second set, the robot is trained to move around and carry out duties in various areas of the room, mimicking real-world situations. Mobile Aloha trains the robot to carry out tasks on its own by using a technique called supervised behavior cloning. This scale, in terms of the cheapness, where you can and one in front for seeing and it can feel and record its movements. That package, then it's able to get that out and apply that so that thing can move. Through supervised learning, the robot imitates human behavior and eventually gains proficiency in tasks requiring both mobility and complex hand movements. The robot can complete hard tasks with up to 90% accuracy which is attributed to its use of roughly 50 samples per task. Experiments conducted by the study team show that co-training regularly performs better than scenarios in which the robot learns from a single group of samples. Mobile Aloha attains a greater degree of proficiency by combining knowledge from activities requiring both mobility and stationary coordination, demonstrating the effectiveness of this novel co-training strategy. Revolutionizing Robotics the Mobile Aloha robot, developed by the team behind the research, has the potential to revolutionize robotics by learning from diverse examples and adapting to different scenarios. This combination of imitation learning and co-training sets a precedent for developing robots that can seamlessly integrate into dynamic environments, performing tasks beyond the limitations of static, single-task robots. The open-source nature of the project contributes to the democratization of robotics, fostering innovation and inviting a broader community to explore and contribute to the project. Mobile Aloha's autonomy is evident in its ability to handle various tasks, such as cooking shrimp and cleaning objects. Its co-training, which involves learning from both stationary coordination and movement tasks, allows the robot to adapt to real-world scenarios where tasks aren't confined to a single location. This synergistic learning approach empowers Mobile Aloha to navigate dynamic environments, making it well-suited for various applications beyond the initial kitchen-centric demonstrations. Supervised behavior cloning is employed within the co-training framework, enabling the robot to perform tasks autonomously with high accuracy. Co-training enhances the robot's versatility and skill, making tasks that require both hand coordination and mobility more attainable. By learning from diverse examples, Mobile Aloha becomes proficient in complex activities, showcasing adaptability that sets it apart in robotics. Experiments consistently demonstrate that co-training outperforms scenarios where the robot learns from just one set of examples, demonstrating the nuanced learning approach's importance in Mobile Aloha's ability to tackle a broad spectrum of tasks effectively. Mobile Aloha a robot that has made significant strides in robotics is set to continue its journey towards redefining the capabilities of robots through co-training. 
The research team is working on improving the robot's adaptability to a broader range of examples, allowing it to excel in scenarios with varying degrees of perfection. Co-training is also aligned with open collaboration, contributing to the democratization of robotics by fostering innovation within a broader community of researchers and developers. The future of Mobile Aloha is marked by miniaturization for enhanced maneuverability, expanding the range of arm movements, learning from imperfect examples. Now, like I said before, this is essentially version two of the original Aloha here that you definitely want to pay attention to because it highlights the dexterity it's able to put a ram stick and robot then it's able to get this box cutter knife real world deployment and adaptation human ai collaboration for enhanced efficiency refinement in autonomous learning and open collaboration and community involvement the robot's ability to learn from a broader range of examples and situations will be enhanced reducing its dependency on expert demonstrations and empowering it to adapt and learn in real time. The project's future roadmap includes a focus on human AI collaboration, where Mobile Aloha can work alongside humans to enhance efficiency and improve workflows across industries. The robot's autonomous learning capabilities will be refined, enabling it to tackle unforeseen challenges in real time. Open collaboration and community involvement are integral to the project's future as the research team invites a diverse community of developers, researchers, and robotics enthusiasts to contribute ideas, enhancements, and applications. In conclusion, Mobile Aloha's future is characterized by miniaturization, expanded capabilities, real-world deployment, and collaborative partnerships. As the project evolves, it holds the promise of advancing robotics technology and reshaping the landscape of human-AI interaction and collaborative problem solving. That's all for this video, folks. See you next time.